Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's Friday, time for my fun fold video. I am excited about this one. I got some really fun, bright new in colors I'm going to use on this card today. And we're moving on with card number five, which is my fun fold um, for using unbounded love. <clears throat> so if you have been watching me all week, I've been having a blast making these gorgeous cards featuring the in colors. Um, the in colors are out of this world. They are absolutely stunning this year. I love every single one of them and they work so well together. Hello everybody that's popping in. I, hi Alexina. Hello Margaret. Good morning. Good morning. Hi Anna Marie. Uh, good morning everyone. So good. So lovely to see you. I want to say a special shout out to the ladies that joined me last night for my Zoom call for my I Love Stamping uh, Opportunity Knox uh, event. We did it for one hour. We just did a Zoom call and I answered their questions and we did a little door prize for every question. Their name went in the hat for a prize. And it was so fun to meet with new people on the screen and, you know, talk to them about the opportunity of joining our Stampin' Up! family and getting all of those in-color products for free. So if this is news to you, oh my goodness, let me tell you about it. It is amazing. You're going to get $112.75 for free in value um, from the in colors. So the in colors just went live on May 1st. So you can get all five of the ink pads, the markers, the cardstock, the designer series paper for free on top of whatever you choose up to $165. So if you've got a wish list, which I know we all have a wish list from that new catalog, fill out your wish, like go onto the, my website, choose me as a demonstrator. If you live here in Canada, cause I can only um, do this with, I can only do business with Canadians and choose your starter kit. You only pay $135, no shipping, and you get to pick $165 of whatever you want. You just can't go over $165. So get as close to $165 as you can. And then Stampin' Up! is going to throw in all that in color stuff, $112.75 for free for free. So it is the best deal. Absolutely the best deal. It all the starter kit is always the best deal because you get to choose $165 and you only pay 135. But when there's a promotion, oh, my heart just skips a beat because I wish I could sign up again and get that starter kit and get all of that stuff for free. But you can. And as my friend Joy um pointed out yesterday in the comments here, uh, if you join, then you're going to be ready to go on Tuesday, May 21st, when they have free shipping. So what do you get with free shipping? Well, you get free shipping, of course, which is 11% or $10.95, whichever is greater. And you're going to save that. If you sign up as a demonstrator and get your demo ID before Tuesday, that's why I think you should do it today. Join, get your starter kit, you'll get your demonstrator ID, then you get to double dip. You're going to get your discount on all your purchases plus save free shipping on Tuesday. It is like the best, right? You're going to be able to get everything on your wish list at a discount, uh, plus free shipping on Tuesday. So that is why I love being a demonstrator. And I know I've talked to all of my team members. They love that too. They love to be able to get their discount and um, d double dip with all the other promotions. Some companies don't let you do that. Some companies don't let their reps get the promotions that are available to customers. But with the Stampin' Up! family, you get to get all the perks, right? So it's a, it's an amazing deal. All right. Uh, Janet says, happy long weekend. Yes, it is the long weekend. Hi, Marie from Calgary. Hello, Krista. Long weekend. So that means on Monday, I will be taking the day off with my family. This is uh, the Victoria Day weekend. I do have some stamping to do over the weekend, but I will be taking um, time off with my family on Monday. So I won't be here Monday but I will be back on Tuesday. So I see your heart. So I guess that means you understand. <laughs> Thank you so much for your understanding. I will be taking that day with my family. Um, my son's off, my, my husband's off, and uh, the, my daughter's here. So we're going to do something as a family on uh, Victoria Day here in Canada. That is uh, the long weekend we're going to be celebrating. So um, come back and join me on Tuesday and we'll kick off the week next week. Okay, so um, what else do I need to share with you? I talked about last night, talked about starter kits, talked about this promotion. Oh, also last night, my friend Christine went live with the Unbounded Sweet 
class, and that class, if you missed it on YouTube, I'm gonna re I'm gonna I'm gonna repost the replay. There's there's a lot of words there. Repost the replay of her YouTube live, so you can watch those. Her video, amazing. She designed four stunning cards using this amazing suite. So she used the entire suite. So you're gonna want both bundles. So if you buy both bundles from me, you're gonna get my five cards and you're also gonna get Christine's four cards. That's nine card kits, right, when you do that. So it's up to you. You can just buy one or the other. Um, my host code when I flip the camera is for my five cards. Now, if you want to just get Christine's cards, reach out to me and I'll give you a separate host code for that. Um, it's $55 order minimum to get Christine's cards from me. Um, so I definitely think it's worth buying both of these bundles and you will be good to go um, to get all of these gorgeous cards in your collection. They are stunning. She did some beautiful cards last night. All right, let's flip the camera. Hi, Tony. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing my video. It gets me in front of more people and gets people seeing what stamping's all about. You'd be surprised. There are so many people that never heard of Stampin' Up! yet. I find it hard to believe because I've been a demonstrator for 22 years. It's what I do full time. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, there are still people in this big, big, wide world that have never heard of Stampin' Up! So thank you for sharing my videos. Um, and Betty says she loves all my cards this week. Thank you, Betty. Thank you so much. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Ethel. Good morning. Good morning, Shannon. Hello, Shannon's joining us from Calgary. Chilly. Yes, it is chilly here today. I've got my nice warm Stampin' Up! sweater on. I got this one uh, when I went to on stage, they gave it to us as we checked in for being a top achiever. So thank you so much. You guys put this on me. <laughs> I know. I know why I I, I ranked because I, I ranked because of my customers and my team. So I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you so much for all your support. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's get started. We're going to flip the camera. I've got a fun fold for you today. And this one is a gift card holder and I think this one can be used for, it could be used for graduation, it could be used for a wedding, um, it could be used for any kind of celebration uh, that you would like to give a gift card for. Could be even be used for a new housewarming, who knows, right? So um, yeah, let's get started on this fun card. Here we go, I'm gonna flip the camera and you'll see my rainy backyard. But as you know, I've mentioned, I have a new appreciation for rain. <laughs> I mean, uh, of course, we, we need rain, right? We do need the rain, uh, especially here in Alberta. I hope that the, this rain, some of it is going up to Fort McMurray and all those amazing people up there that are trying to fight these wildfires for us. It's so early in the year. It's still only mid-May, and well, here we go. It's like crazy. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be making... A, let me show you. Do you want to see the card? You want to see what we're making? I've got some pieces cut here, but this is what we're going to make today. I'm going to share with you. This is a gift card holder, and look at that. We are playing with Shy Shamrock today. We're going to bring in some Petunia Pop. We're going to play with the dies again. The glimmer paper, you need it all, right? The in color products are absolutely stunning. And then when it opens, it opens like this, and inside is an accordion. So it's an accordion gift card holder. And then the back is the same as the front. I see some hearts, thank you guys. So it opens like this, is we're gonna feature some of, more of the designer series paper, some more of the dies, and then this is the pocket right here where you can slip in your gift card holder. You know, I was just saying, it could be graduation, it could be, wedding <laughs> you've got this oh my goodness that would be funny if you put that on a wedding card wouldn't it you've got this <laughs> that would be an actually funny um greeting and then there's celebrate may all your wishes come true that could totally be for a wedding it could be for um yeah as i mentioned graduation somebody setting off to do something but they need best of luck that would actually be funny to say best of luck <laughs> someone getting married um but there are so many, so many greetings in this unbounded love that you can put together different combinations of phrases, right? Um, I mean, even with sympathy, we all unfortunately need sympathy cards and you could totally make this into a sympathy card. 
of course you wouldn't be given a gift card or, you know, that maybe this particular uh, fold would not apply for a sympathy card, but you could still put something in there. You could put a coffee uh, card in there and, you know, just something like, let's go have a cup of tea. Let's go have a coffee together and be together during your time of sorrow. Um, okay, so let's get started on this fun card. It's, it's, it's a great card I'm going to share with you. Don't worry about cutting, about writing the measurements. I will be getting over to my blog as soon as I'm done this video to repost the, the replay on my YouTube channel and also send you a post um, on my blog the uh, measurements for this one. Okay, so we're going to start off. What do we need first? We have two pieces of Shy Shamrock and they both measure four and a quarter by five and a half. That's pretty easy, right? Two of those, and these are all gonna come in your kit next week when you place your order with me. This is part of what I do. When you spend minimum $60 order using this code at the top of my screen every week, it ends on uh, midnight on Sunday, which is the 19th of May. Um, I send you, I kit up those cards on Monday. So it'll be Tuesday next week because I'm taking Monday off, and then those card kits will be sent out and then you will be able to make these beautiful cards for yourself. Okay, so to do the inside piece for the um, accordion piece, we have a piece of petunia pop that measures four and three quarters by 11 inches. Now with the 11 inch side across the top, we're gonna play, place that into the trimmer and we're going to score at two and three quarters. I'm using my light gray scoring tool. So two and three quarters, um, five and a half, Slide that down to five and a half, and then again, slide it down to eight and a quarter. All right, we're gonna do another little cut because we need to make that little angle cut for the pocket, right, for the gift card. So we're going to put this back into the trimmer, and I'm going to line up the score line, the little, the top of this first score line. I'm gonna put that in my trimmer in the track. Okay, so there's the corner, and this, this corner over here, so there's the score line, this is the corner. I'm going to angle this so that that corner goes to the 2-inch mark. So I'm using the 2-inch line and the cutting track. That is my, that is my um, measurements here that I'm using. And then I'm simply going to put the arm down, and I'm going to cut. And that's the angle that I want right here. That's the angle for my gift card holder. Pretty easy, right? Um, one more thing I want to do here is, um, okay, I think that's it for the trimmer. I was just thinking I needed my trimmer, but nope, I don't. I'm going to share with you how to cut the designer series paper to match this angle. Because sometimes angles are a little bit challenging, right? When we're making cards, do you guys find that? I find angles <laughs> can be a little bit challenging. Um, okay, so I'm just seeing your comments here. <laughs> Uh, such a good deal, Deborah says. Yes, indeed, it is. Did you hear that they're bringing back the glass mat? Pam says. Well, they've been talking about it, Pam. I don't. I didn't see any announcements this morning that it's available, but they've been saying that it would be available sometime after celebration. Um, but I don't know. I haven't seen anything. Have you seen anything official? <laughs> um, let me know. Uh, Christine is doing great, Krista. She was on her video last night and she is, you know, she is such a trooper. She is really fighting hard and doing her business and she's got a lot of people's um, help. She's got a lot of helpers, a lot of people that love her, including me, and are wishing her all the best, right? So thank you for asking about her. Um, she is definitely near and dear to my heart. Um, this is a wow card, Barbara says. Well, thank you, Barbara. I'm so happy you like this one. Uh, thank you, Ellie. Yes, I'm going to take Monday off with my family. Absolutely. Okay, I know, um, you know, it's, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a good long weekend. It's a long weekend in Canada, for sure. Um, I'm not sure where else. Well, I, I guess over in Britain and England, of course, because that's where our, it's the Queen's birthday. Victoria is, you know, Queen Victoria is our queen, and... Um, it's with the one we celebrate her birthday every year this time. Okay, so I have this piece of designer series paper. I have these two pieces here. They're gonna these are for the inside, but let's deal with the front of our card first. So I have this is from Unbounded Love Designer Series Paper. I have used this paper. I needed to order I placed an order this morning super early <laughs> because I need more paper. Um this paper is stunning. So I have a piece for the front here. 
that I'm going to glue right here. And our Queen Victoria, of course, she's passed away, but we do continue to celebrate her birthday, the day of her birth for sure. Okay, so we're going to put this on to the front of our card on the right hand side. So I'm just lining this up. Ooh, just get a little smudge of glue there. Okay, let's see if we can get this lined up. And you get a little bit of wiggle room. Ooh, I'm really testing it here. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Uh, it's Friday. It's been a long week. What can I say? We're going to put this on the edge like that. And then we're going to bring in, because I've got the glue at, on the side there. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm actually going to put glue there on purpose. And I'm going to add a little strip of liquid glue right there. And I'm bringing in some of the Petunia Pop Glimmer Paper. I'm going to put that right along this edge. And that's going to make that Petunia Pop pop out <laughs> even more. Pardon the pun. Okay, so there's the front of the card. Now, we're going to decorate this. We're going to use our dies. Oh my goodness. Unbounded love dies are out of this world. I, yesterday I showed you some tips and tricks on how to use this one particular die here. I think I've used all the dies except for the, the rectangles. I, I'm not sure why I didn't use it. And the circles. There's two stitch circles. So there's so many more cards that I want to make using this amazing die set. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. Because I do like to do die cutting... Um, all together, right? I like to load up that machine and run it through and get as many die cuts out as I can. So the first thing, I'm just thinking about my card and the best way to do this. Um, this piece for the inside, this accordion piece that I just showed you how to cut and score. I'm just going to reinforce the score lines on it. I'm going to share with you a little cutting tip on how we're going to get that designer series paper on here because I want to use the extra DSP to cut um, a pattern. So I've got this strip here. You're going to get this in your kit. And when you get this strip, we're just going to lay it here on the front. And I need to cut it the same angle that I cut the other one. But here's the fun part. You just take this and you slide it up a little bit like that. Okay, so I'm just sliding it up to give a bigger border down here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold that in place with my hand. Hopefully I won't move it. And I'm just going to flip it over like this. And from the back, I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to trim this. I'm going to go right up. I'm putting the blades of the scissors right up next to the Petunia Pop cardstock angle. And I'm cutting it the same angle. All right. So then when I take this off, I'm going to now come in and I'm just going to put that down. And now look at that. I have a border all the way around. Isn't that fun? It's a quick and easy way to get this nice angle. So go ahead now and we'll glue this down. We might as well. We've got it in, in front of us. But that extra piece of paper, we're going to use that to do a little bit of die cutting. So don't, don't throw away your scrap because you want to use that with your die cuts. All right. So this is going on here like that. Okay. And we're going to use this to die cut. Let me show you what die cuts we're going to use. We're going to bring in this little one down here. I'm quite intrigued by this. I think this shape is lovely. You could use this as a little wedge, like you know when you make an easel card and you need to have an anchor that you pop up with dimensionals? This would make a fantastic one, one of those. We're not making an easel card today, but I do want to use this and I'm just going to use a little scrap of my, let's, let's cut it up here so that we, I just want to use a, a, the same pattern. So to conserve my paper, I'm just going to trim it like that. So you will have extras left over with your piece. So that's going to go on there like that. And we're going to get that shape. Okay. What else do we need to cut? So let's move this off to the side. I'm going to bring in some scrap white now. We're going to do a little bit of cutting. I'll show you what we need. So we need an oval like this. Ooh, that's really cutting it close. I don't think I'll use that piece, but I do need, um, a circle, the large circle. And I need two of these here, this shape, whatever this is called, like a little rectangle with some little divots in it. And I need this one. So one, two, three, four. And do I need any more? I think that's about it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Oh, I got a bigger piece of white right here. So we're going to do this one here. And 
Does this fit across? Wow, look at that. It does too. Okay, so here's what I do. I want to share with you my process of how I get organized to do things so that you're not like running through the machine like four, four and five times. So let's go ahead and do a double piece like this. So these dies here are just the outline, right? So you can double up and get two at a time. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to double up this piece of cardstock and I'm going to get two of those and one of those and one of the rest of them. All right, let's put these back and we're going to bring in the machine now. But first I'm going to grab a post-it note, a couple of post-it notes. And we're going to hold these things down so they don't move. And let's see, I'm doubling up this one. So I've just got my second layer on the top here. And we're just multitasking. We're going to get as many things done at once. That is what we do, right? I was going to say that's what we do as women. But I mean, men are good at multitasking too. But if you're a mom and you got kids, you got things going on at home, you get it. You know what I mean, right? It's busy. Life is busy. So we got to... We got to time manage uh, the best we can, right? Do as many things in one go as you can. Okay, so here we go. My husband and I have these discussions all the time about, um, you know, he's like, you can't multitask, Rose. You can't. You need to focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> we have these heated conversations. He's like, you know, if you've just focused on one thing at a time and just do that. And then I'm like, yeah, but I can't get everything done when I focus on one thing at a time. I, I always, I'm always trying to think of ways to, you know, can I do this and that at the same time? And like, you know, just save time. I don't know. <laughs> it's a discussion. It's a discussion. <laughs> um, do you guys have those discussions? It's, uh, let me, I'm just reaching for my machine here. It's, it's, he's true. It, it, he is right. It's true what he says. He's like, you know, you should really just focus on one thing at a time and don't worry about it. And maybe he's just trying to, you know, help me out by saying that. <laughs> uh, I love multitasking, but your hubby, nope. Yeah. Okay, Maggie. Yeah. See, like, I don't know. Maybe it's a guy thing. I'm not here to bash guys. I'm not going, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but he, and, and you know what, I, you know what else? One more thing I want to say about that guys, they, if they have a to-do list, they do work on their to-do list and that's all they do. Right. Me when, and they're, and they celebrate, they celebrate when the to-do list is done. What do women do? Women typically, we find things to add to our to-do list and we, then we write it on so that we can cross it off. Right. <laughs> Anybody relate to that? Guys, guys typically celebrate their to-do list. And when they get the list done, they cross it all off. They take the piece of paper and they ball it up and they toss it in the trash like they're slam dunking, slam dunking something. And then they celebrate. Then they, you know, crack open a beer or they, you know, go do something they really want to do. And it's like, oh, maybe we could learn from them. <laughs> maybe we could learn from them <laughs> to do that, right? But no, women, I don't know. I don't know. We're a special species. That What can I say? What can I say? Okay. I'm going to get myself in trouble here. All right. So, <laughs> you gave Javi a to-do list a long time ago. Yes. Add and go across it off to show what I did for the day. Okay. So some of you are like me. You like to add to that list so that you can cross it off. It is such a glorifying feeling to cross things off your list, right? It sure is. Okay. Let me move all this off to the side. We're gonna bring in now. We need silicone mat. I'm gonna get all these things on my silicone mat so that I know where they are. So we got a circle. Oh, did we get two of these? I thought I cut two of them. Where's my other one? Oh, here it is. Two of those. Okay, got our shapes. I'm happy now. <laughs> Barbara says, "Yep." <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, it's called a yay list. Ah, oh, Pat, I love that. Yes, I love it. A yay list. Yay, I got it done. <laughs> okay, so we need some white pieces for our panels. Now, you're going to need three of these panels. And let me grab my measurement here. Um, they measure two and a half by four and a half. So let's go ahead and put this piece of paper in here. Four and a half by two and a half. Two and a half. One. Two, and three. Okay, so we need three of these. 
These will come in your kit as well. Of course, all the cardstock comes. You just need the dies and the stamps and your own ink, of course, to be able to cut and or stamp these. Okay, so these two pieces, um, we're going to grab our designer series paper. We've got these two, I call them my green pieces, but they feature both um, the Shy Shamrock and the, um, what's the other color? <laughs> I'm running a blank. Um, Summer Splash, Summer Splash. And these are supposed to be the same size and one of them smidge higher than the other, but that's okay. I'm going to trim it down. So these should be um, two and a half by three. Yeah, this one's a little bit too long. So we could trim off a little tiny bit here. Two and a half by three. Okay, it's a little tiny smidge too long, just a hair. All right, so here we go. Let's do some, what should we do first? Let's glue these down. We're gonna glue these down. Um, this is part of the accordion, okay? So we've got a back piece here where, where you're gonna be able to write your greeting. And then we've got some, I'll bring back the accordion right here. So this is the accordion with the pocket holder, okay? And so the white pieces are gonna stay on here. And then I have the idea that these here with the DSP can also be pockets. So when we glue this down, and this would be so fun to add little notes and stuff like that to the pockets. So let's deal with these two pieces. I'm only gonna add glue to three sides. I'm gonna leave the top part open so that you could make a fun tag or stick a little note in there, a note of love. You know, if you're doing this as a grad gift or something, you could write little notes in there for your special graduate, you know, why you're proud of them, or you could do, you could do additional gift cards if you wanted to. So here we go, we're putting this one down, see? And then this top does not have glue, so you can slip a piece of paper in there and let them know why you're so proud of them, right? So let's see, we're gonna put this one here. I love the cards that have lots of different elements to it. Okay, so we could actually go ahead and glue these down, and we're gonna glue this one down as well. So let's get the glue flowing here, and we'll get all four of these down. I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to talk as loud as I can. I know the camera's above me, um, but hopefully you can hear me. Maybe you might have to turn up the volume on your device to hear me if you're having trouble. Okay, so let's move these down, and we'll just go ahead and put them onto their panels. Super easy, you guys. We're just gonna put this one here, and these are both the green colors. So you can mix them up if you wanted to. The pattern paper, this Unbounded Love Designer Series paper, all the colors go so nicely together. I have used up pretty much the full package this week. I've had so much fun with this paper. Okay, so there we go. We've got our three pockets. We've got this one here, the back white one, this is gonna be where you can do your signing. And I really wanted to pull in that beautiful petunia pop with the berry bliss, uh, sorry, the um, berry burst is what I'm trying to say, the berry burst pattern. So I'm just gonna use this, so use your scraps and cut up these dies. Use these dies to cut up your scraps into fun shapes. And I'm not using any dimensionals on this because I don't wanna make my card too, too thick. But this is gonna be just a nice little colorful accent piece down here. All right, so let's do some stamping now. So move this up out of the screen. We're gonna bring in my silicone mat with my shapes on it. So for the front of the card, we're gonna stamp best of luck. And let me grab my stamp set. We've got best of luck here. And I'm gonna stamp with Petunia Pop. Now, again, any of the colors would work. You could use your Shy Shamrock. You could use Summer Splash. You could even use um, the Peach Pie if you wanted to, uh, there, if you're using those colors of DSP, because there is Peach Pie in this package of Designer Series paper. So there's my best of luck. And then on the circle, we're going to flip over and use Shy Shamrock. These are my two feature colors I'm bringing in for this card. And we're going to stamp um, just for you. This is gonna sit right in front of the, wherever you wanna put your gift card, right? Just for you. And then we're gonna stamp, you've got this and let's celebrate, or just celebrate, sorry. You've got this, we're gonna do that in Petunia Pop on one of these straight pieces here. This is a great little die for doing greetings. And then we'll do celebrate on the other one. 
so many greetings that, you know, go together so well. It's a fun, fun stamp set. I've had a lot of fun this week playing with it. All right. And then on the back, so let's do the inside. And then I forgot I was supposed to cut a couple of sprigs of leaves. So actually, let's do that right now while I think of it. So I need some of the leaves. So let's bring our dies back in. I'll show you this set of 16 dies that I think that everybody needs in their collection. Okay, this is how I, sh I have them arranged on my silicone mat so that I know where everything is. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab this leaf here, the double leaf and the single leaf, and we're gonna do a little bit of die cutting with that. So let's bring in my machine. We'll just do those quickly and we'll have some sprigs to add to our card. So we need a little bit of um, the Shy Shamrock scrap. I'm just grabbing, grabbing a little bit of scrap here. Not much, you don't need much. Just need probably like a strip like that. We'll run that through. Okay, I've got my big shot, my big guy. It's not the big shot. It's the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the big one. And I'm just going to pop these onto the platform. And then because they're quite detailed, I do like to put my die on top, uh, on the bottom. And then I'll put the blades pointing up, of course, and put the cardstock on top. And then we'll run this through rolling through. I'm going to go forward and back because as I mentioned, there's a lot of details to these leaves. I want to make sure all the pieces have cut out and look, we've got them cut out nicely. Um, okay, so let's take those and give them a little drop. <laughs> I like to do that. It's my little cheater way of trying to get these images there it goes see that you can do that you're not going to break your glass mat doing that but there we go the die separates and look at that look at that not a single piece to poke out <laughs> i love it it makes me so happy <laughs> and then you can just swipe off the little bits toss them in the trash and you are good to go okay let's bring back the silicone mat we'll gather our leaves now flip them over and then we are going to flip everything over because once you got the glue flowing, you might as well get everything going here. And we'll flip over this one too because here's what I'm going to do with the best of luck. Okay, this is the title for the front of my card. I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. I want to put, I'm going to put leaves up here and down here on the back. So I'm going to adhere them to the back. So let's flip that over like that. And like that and I'm not gonna worry about liquid glue because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sandwich this down with my dimensionals so just I've got a, a sheet of dimensionals here that still has lots on it on the edges so I'm just bringing my scissors I'm gonna snip snip all around and we're gonna use those dimensionals on this piece so here's my first piece it's gonna do double duty it's gonna hold down my leaves and it's also going to serve to um, pop up my image. So there we go. It's a little cheater tip. <laughs> and then we'll add some more dimensionals here. So one there and one there. And we'll peel off the backing. And we can then adhere this to the front of the card. Did I get all the backings? Yes, I did. There we go. Okay, let's bring back our... Now, let's just leave this on the silicone mat until I'm ready to put it on my card. So for the other greetings, we're going to use liquid glue because I don't want to pop up the inside of this card too much. So I'm just going to add a little liquid glue here, and then we're going to set this off to the side. Let's bring in the accordion and the two, uh, the front and the back. So here's the front, and here's the back of the card, okay? So now what we want to do is we can, let's see, we can go ahead and put this one on. Let's do this one first. We'll put that on the front. So here's the front of the card. I'm just gonna put this right in the center like that. Fun, okay, so we can flip that over and then we're gonna deal with the accordion. So we'll go ahead and pick up these pieces 
So the just for you is going to go right where the gift card is going to go, which is going to be this little pocket right here. I hope I'm still on the screen. Let me move up a little bit so you can see. And then we'll go here. We'll put celebrate on the third one like that. And then you've got this on this one. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay. So now I only have one more thing I wanted to stamp. So this is where you're going to sign your card and write your greeting. There's another stamp here that says, may all your good wishes come true. I'm going to stamp that using the Petunia Pop. All these greetings came from the Unbounded Love stamp set. Unbelievable. So there we go. We've got lots to say in this card. And then again, I mentioned that these are po also pockets. So let me just make sure. So you can slip a little note in here, a, maybe a little bookmark or something, right? Something um, that they can pull out and read. That would be fun. Just cut. Just make sure that when you glue these down, you're only gluing the three sides, the bottom and the two sides. And then we're going to fold this up like an accordion. Okay. So like so. Fold it up like a neat little package. And then what we want to do is we're going to, on the back rectangle, we're going to put glue all over. But on the front one, we want to not put glue here because that's where we want to be able to slip our gift card down, right? So let's do that one first. So we're just going to do three sides on the front panel like that. And then I'm going to pick this up and hold it in my hand. Try not to get glue on my fingers. I'm going to add glue to all four sides of the back. And then we can bring in the back and the front. So let's do the back first. So we're going to square this up like so. I'm just going to put it onto our Shy Shamrock piece like that. Hold it down. Let the glue set up. And then you can take the front of your card and we're going to just put this right on top and line up the edges and make a nice little sandwich. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it's a fun, fun sandwich. Okay, so we're just pressing it down, letting that glue set up a little bit. And then when we're done, we'll go ahead and lift it, this up. And there's our accordion gift card. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love this style. This can be done with any product suite that you love. Can just change out the DSP. This is a fantastic. I was inspired by Dawn um, Griffith for this card. She did this one um, a couple of months ago, and I love it so much because it can hold. As I mentioned, there's our gift card holder right there, and I added these two um, separate pockets that you can. You don't have to have them as pockets. You can close them up all the way if you want to. But it's a fun, fun way to surprise and delight someone. Now, if you want to add more bling, now I do have the glimmer paper on here, but if you want to add some bling, I wanted to share with you um, the resin dots are available. The in color resin dots are available. But if you don't have any of those and you can't wait for your order to come in, you and you have the blends, you can bring in rhinestone basic jewels and make your own colored blends. So if you have the Petunia Pop uh, uh, blend, I've got dark here, dark Petunia Pop. I'm just going to grab my rhinestones and I'm going to color three of these. Oh, I've got some that are flying away on me here. Get back onto the sheet here. <laughs> my bling is trying to fly away. I need three, so I'm just going to color one, two, and let's grab that one there that's trying to escape and add your Petunia Pop blend. And you can create custom uh, bling, okay? So we're gonna just go ahead and pick those up. I'm gonna put one right there. And likewise, you could do these with the other colors of our in-color blends. You could do Shy Shamrock or Summer Splash and make your own customized gems. So let's go ahead and put this one, I'm gonna put that one up here in the center of the flower. And of course, you can add many, many more dye, um, bling if you want. I like to stick with three, the power of three. It's very visually pleasing. Thank you, Betty. I'm so happy you like this card. I had a blast making this accordion gift card holder that features the designer series paper, the cardstock, the ink of the new in colors. Oh my goodness. I And the, the um, glitzy glimmer paper. So thank you. Thank you, Mary. I'm so happy you like this one. Let me flip you around. 
I hope you have a great Friday and a great long weekend if you live in Canada and you are celebrating Victoria Day. Um, I will get this one posted so that you guys can enjoy making this fun card design. And oh, I'm going to flip the I do this every Friday. I forget to show you. <laughs> I'm going to flip back now. Bear with me. Don't get don't get dizzy on me. I'm going to flip back and go through a little recap of the cards I did this week. I want to show you all five of them because my ordering special ends on Mon uh, Sunday night, uh, May 19th, and you're going to want to get all of these card kits. So let's do a little recap here. On Monday, I'll share with you, in case you missed any of my videos this week, we're going to just have, thank you, Heather. I hope you guys have a long weekend too. Um, okay, have a great long weekend, yes. Okay, so this is a Global Design Project Challenge on Monday. It was Petal Pink, Moody Mauve, and Pretty Peacock. There's our first card, Monday's card. On Tuesday, I, I wanted to jump right into the in colors, and this is our peach pie card with the peach pie glimmer. It kind of looks gold, but it's actually the peach pie glimmer paper, and I did another peach pie um, leaf on the inside. And then on Wednesday, we made this card. We played with the beautiful glimmer paper again, um, and we've got Summer Splash going on here with Petunia Pop. And then... Thursday, we did this one where I shared some tips and tricks and technique of making an inlay. This is all an inlay using the dies in a different way. And we paired Berry Burst with our um, Pretty in Pink cardstock. So, so pretty together. And then last but not least today, we did, we played with the Shy Shamrock and the Petunia Pop Glimmer Paper. And we made this one our little gift card holder, our big gift card holder. There we go. So there's my week in a nutshell, you guys. I hope you guys like these cards. And if you live in Canada, if you're inclined to shop with me, I greatly appreciate your business. And this is the host code for my weekly deals to get these five card kits in the mail. And, 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 and my friend Christine from the United States has... This one that she taught last night, these four cards. So many of you have reached out and wanted to get both my cards and these designed by Christine. And if you live in Canada, I will definitely be prepping all of these for you when you spend, um, when you buy both bundles with me and uh, reach out to me. I would definitely love to get these off to you. So super beautiful cards, a beautiful week of unbounded beauty. And um, we are so excited, both Christine and I, to offer these classes to you. So thank you again. Let me just say goodbye <laughs> one, one last time. I forgot to show you all the cards, so I do like to do a recap. So let, thank you for allowing me to flip you back and, back and forth. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Thank you, Alexina. And I will see you on Tuesday morning at 9. And if I'm, I'm going to be doing some crafting this weekend. So I will be popping in with some pictures and maybe even a quick video. You never know. <laughs> Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.